Hello, hello. Hello, Sarai. How are you? Hello, Sonia. Hello, Americo. Hello, Christian. How are you? Hello, Nelson. Good evening. Hello, Patricia. Good evening. Hello, Nelson. Good evening. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Mario. Hello, Antonio. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Hello Sonia. Hello, Cesar. Hello, Marta. Hello, Susana. Hello, Alejandra. Hello, Gilda. Hello, Nelson. How are you guys? Are you ready for your English class? Yes. Yes, teacher. Are you ready for your English class? Yes. yes. All right, all right. Yes. Let's make it happen. Uh, tell me, what information do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué se acuerda de la clase de hoy? Levante la mano, por favor. ¿Qué se acuerda de la clase de hoy? Voy a poner el silencio porque hay interferencia. Levante la mano el que se acuerde lo que estuvimos viendo el día de ayer. ¿Qué se acuerdan? ¿Qué vimos? Dígame, Claudia, ¿qué se acuerda del día de ayer? Good evening. Eh, recuerdo que estudiamos acerca de this y this. That's right. This and that. ¿Cuál es la diferencia okay. entre this and that? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre this? This es eh, singular. That's y right. That eh, eh, plural. plural. That's right. Pero. This is singular and these is plural. All right. Vamos a empezar. Eh, perdón, me equivoqué. ¿Por qué? Porque la volví a levantar. Ah, oh, okay, okay, it's okay. All right, so we're going to get started uh, with the next section. Eh, ayer estuvimos trabajando en la sección Knowledge Check 2.7, ¿se acuerdan? 2.7 fue la sección. Estábamos aquí, vimos esto. Are these your keys? ¿Se acuerdan? Sí. Ok. So today we're going to be looking at section 2.8, lesson objective. In this class, you will learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. En esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo usar preposiciones para describir la ubicación de diferentes objetos. Now, let's look at the first one. In, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. All right, repeat please. Behind. Behind. On. 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 Next to. Next to. Under. 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 In front of. In front of. In. Front of. In. 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 All right, let's listen to the audio video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one, where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are 
behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. Now for this activity, what I want everybody to do is we're going to be looking at this structure. Box. Vamos a usar esta estructura. Right, the keys are in front of the box. The keys are behind the box. Vamos a utilizar las prepositions of locations. Y vamos a utilizar estos vocabularios. Estas fotos que vemos acá, estas imágenes, para hacer oraciones. Por ejemplo, número uno, vemos una mochila, un book bag. Y adentro del book bag vemos libros. So la oración dice, the books, los libros, are, están, in the book bag, adentro de la mochila. So, me van a dar, van a repetir esta oración, one, two, three, four, five, six. Me van a dar seis oraciones y usando estas imágenes y me van a agregar cuatro más. Eso quiere decir que en total serán diez oraciones. Y las van a escribir aquí en el discussion forum. Las otras cuatro pueden ser acerca de cosas que usted o un amigo tiene en su casa. All right. Tienen 10 minutos. Empezamos. Empezamos. Ya. 10 minutos. Si tiene una pregunta, por favor, levante la mano. Y yo estoy observando y le voy a ayudar. Pueden empezar.
Hello, Susana. Bienvenida. Ahorita estamos trabajando en la sección que está aquí. Eh, la sección es número 2.9, Prepositions. Y estamos usando esta imagen para escribir oraciones usando las prepositions que acabamos de ver acá. Behind, atrás. On, sobre. Next to, a la par. Under, abajo de. In front of, enfrente de. Y in, adentro de. So, va a usar estas prepositions para describir lo que ve acá en estas imágenes. Por ejemplo, la primera dice, eh, ves una mochila aquí a María con unos libros y dice, the books are in the book bag. Los libros están dentro de la mochila. So, vas a darme, vas a incorporar esta oración, el ejemplo, me vas a dar seis con estas imágenes y le vas a agregar cuatro más con cosas que tú tienes en tu casa. Utilizando los prepositions of location. So, en total serán 10 oraciones y las va a escribir acá en el discussion forum. Les quedan 5 minutos. Gracias. All right. All right, all right. ¿Cómo vamos? Eh, ya terminamos. Necesitan más tiempo. ¿Cómo vamos? Más tiempo, Pichu. Uh, ¿Unos cinco minutos más? Sí, yes. por favor. Yes. Ok, cinco minutos más.
in suspension. All right, all right. Time's up, time's up. Now, si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to be moving on to the next section. Now, in the next section, we're going to be looking at section 2.10. Knowledge check. Instructions. Look at the pictures and input the correct answer in the blank. Then, listen and check your answer. Instrucciones. Mire las fotos e ingrese la respuesta correcta en los espacios en blanco. Posteriormente, escuche y compruebe su respuesta. All right, so we're going to be looking at this picture right here, and you're going to complement the sentence. For example, there are, the books are in backpack. In book bag, in book bag, in the book bag. You have five minutes. Five minutes. Ready and action. Five minutes. Five minutes. If you have a question, please raise your hand and I will help you.
Uh, Ilda, do you have a question? Ilda, do you have a question? All right, all right. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos? Eh, ¿Ya terminamos o necesitan más tiempo? Un poquito más de tiempo, teacher. Unos cinco minutos más. Sí. Ok. Perfect.
Hello, hello. Okay. Hello, Rebecca. Do you have a question? Hello, Rebecca. Do you have a question? Uh, I don't know how bright a uh, address book. Address book. A D D R. E S S book B O C. Me, me, me lo podría repetir, por favor. Uh, yes, lo voy a mandar en un chat aquí en el Zoom. Address ah, okay. book. A D D R E S S address book. All right, ¿cómo vamos, chicos? Uh, ¿Ya terminamos o necesitamos más tiempo? The chair is behind the desk. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? Ya terminamos o necesitamos más tiempo? Cell phone is in front of the address book. Más tiempo, teacher. Ok, les voy a dar cinco minutos y de allí nos movemos. Ok. Ok. Then listen and check your answers. One, the books are in the book bag. Two, the DVD player is next to the television. Three, Uh -huh. uh, sorry, Rebecca, repeat. Uh, sorry, Rebecca, repeat, please. Excuse me, teacher. Eh, tengo problemas con la número seis. Eh, bueno, yo escucho the cell phone is in front of the, the address book. Pero me sale mala. Eh, no sé si la estaré escribiendo bien. Uh, you got to write in front of. In front ah. of the address book. Si eh, okay, pone okay. of, no está correcta. Okay, okay. The cell phone is in front of the address book. That's right. Thank you. All right, all right. 
Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right here with this activity because the time is moving and I need us for us to move forward. So we're going to check the first one. The first one is the books are in the book bag. The second one is the DVD player is next to the television. Number three. The map is under the newspaper. Number four, the chair is behind the desk. Number five, the wallet is on the purse. That should be in the purse. Number six, the cell phone is in front of the address book. All right. Now we are going to continue with the next activity. Please pay attention. By the end of this practice, you will learn how to share information about the location of other people's objects. Al final de esta práctica, aprenderán a compartir información sobre la ubicación de los objetos de otras personas. Listen, please. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are. In my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. My sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are, in my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see, my sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Repeat one more time. Repeat one more time. All right. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are in my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. 
My sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Under the table. In the course. All right, all right. Let me have one participant, please, uh, Sonia. I would like for you to read the next one, which is number two. Sonia, number two, please. Where are kids, Where are kids airing in the pools? All right, very good. In the purse is correct. Uh, go ahead, uh, Christian, number two. Christian, you have mute. Number two. Oh, perdón. Okay. Perdón, teacher. Un, seg un segundito. All right. Number two. Uh, Number two. Uh, me escucha. Yes, yes, perfectly. Okay. okay. Where is Kate's watch? Uh, in front of the television. That is correct. In front of television. Okay. Excellent, Christian. Thank you. Antonio, continue, please. Number three, Antonio. Okay. Uh, where are Kate's sunglasses? Um, creo que fue in front of television. All right, in front of television. Okay, so let's check on that one. Where are Kate's sunglasses? On the chair. Okay. On, the, on chair. the chair. That's right. Okay. On the chair. Okay. Let me have uh, Mario Sanchez. Number four. Mario Sanchez. Number four. Okay. Where is Kate? Others book? Under the table. Okay, where is Kate's address book? Under the table is correct. Very good. All right, guys. Now what we're going to do is look at the next activity. Now for the following activity, what we're going to do is look at section 3.0. In this class, you will listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates yes-no questions and WH questions. 
which we will learn in the future. En esta clase escucharán conversación titulada Eres tú de Seol. Esta conversación nos ilustra las preguntas con respuestas sí, no y las preguntas interrogativas las cuales aprenderemos en futuras secciones. Are you from Seoul? Listen, please. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. All right. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to from take Calif a couple of minutes and we're going to practice the pronunciation. Everybody listen and repeat. Are you from California, Jessica? Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. Well, my family is in California now. But we're from Korea originally. But we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. Oh, my mother, my mother, my mother is Korean. Korean. Mother is Korean. From Seoul. From Seoul. Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? Are you from Seoul? No. No. We're no. not from no. Seoul. We're not. No. We're no. not. We're not. not from, from, from Seoul. We're from Dijon. We're, We're from, from Dijon. Dijon. So, is your first language Korean? So, is your first language Korean? Language Korean? 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 Yes. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. It is. Yes, All right. It is. All right. So right now I'm going to put you guys in pairs and we will practice the conversations in pairs. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. yes ready. Let's go. Ok, guys. Eh, ¿No han entrado a los chats? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Saraí, Marta, Alejandra, Rebeca, Jimmy, Rebeca, Jimmy, Marta. G 
Jimmy ha entrado. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. 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 Sonia. Lucha. Hello. Hello. Hi. All right, all right. Uh, tuve que crear los grupos, guys. Había bastante gente afuera. Voy a recrear los grupos en este momento. Hola. 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 Es que no tengo la, no tengo la conversación. Hola. Hello. Hola. 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 Uh, Alguien tiene la conversación. Hay que irse al video que nos mostró el teacher. Yo la tengo. Sí. Sí, es que no me reproduce se trabó. Yo la tengo. Tal vez el fichero nos lo pone. Fichero, where are you? Sorry guys, give me just uh, one second. Levanto la mano y el pie. Hey. No sé, no sé cómo la se levanta la mano. We're Yo la tengo. One more time. Give me just one okay. second. One okay. second. Ready, let's go. Levantada. Let's go. All right. Go. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Aquí lo voy a poner. California um, now, but where from Korean original? Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not. Oh, un diálogo me lo tapa. Ah. 
es que me lo reproduce y me pone el español encima. Ah, eh, y, si, y si hace muy grande el... Ya. ya traté, no me lo da. No le sale. No. Ah. Bueno, si no, eh, vamos a practicar okay. cuando, cuando se pueda. Ok, ok, ya, ya. Ok. Ya, ya estuvo. Dice, no, we're not from Seoul, we're from, ¿qué dice? From de... Seoul. No, abajo de Seoul, we're from. Dijon. ¿Qué palabra es? Dijon. Dijon. Ajá. Dijon. Ajá. Ok. Uh, so, is your first language Korean? Uh, no veo el otro. Eh, dice, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ok. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. De nuevo, tal vez podemos. De nuevo. Eh, ¿Comienzo okay. yo o comienzo usted? No, comienzo tú. yo. Vale. Are you from no, California, sí. Claudia? Eh, well... Where my family is in California now, but where from Korean original? Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, where where not from Seoul. Where from? ¿Qué dijimos que decía? Dijon. De Dijon. Así. Mm -hmm. yes. Dijon. Ok. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Así era. Sí. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Ahora le damos vuelta. De vuelta. Ok. Are you from California? Ok. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're oh, not from no, Seoul. We're from the young. ¿Qué le pasó? Eh, toca la pantalla. Uh -huh. Ah. She is your language Korean. Yes, ¿Así? it is. Sí. Sí, cabal. Ok. ¿Nuevamente? Sí. ¿Qué soy yo? Sí. Ok. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. All right, all right, ladies Dichon. and gentlemen. Thank Dichon. you. Dichon. All right, guys, we're going to stop right Dichon. here. Dichon. Okay, so we're going to stop right here at this moment because uh, it's already time. Right it's already 10 o'clock. So I would like for everybody to please continue working on the platform. Remember that you can advance on the platform as much as you can. You don't have to wait for my instructions in order for you to uh, move on, all right? And we will continue tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Acuérdense que ustedes pueden continuar en, en su tiempo eh, trabajando en la platform. No tienen que esperar eh, las indicaciones. Okay. All right then, so we see you tomorrow, guys. Okay. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay, bye. Good, right. night. good night, good night. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.